Pierre Polyev, the leader of the Conservative Party, is speaking ahead of the budget. Let's listen. Total chaos dominates. We can see purchase. that nine out of ten young Canadians can no longer purchase a house and think they will never, never be able to do so. One out of five Canadians must cut out a meal in order to pay their bills. Elevation is at its highest level in 40 years. After eight years of this Prime Minister, it doesn't make any sense to continue with the same policies that caused this crisis and the cost of living. It makes no sense. That's why today I'm announcing that Justin Trudeau must cut these tax increases and increases to the inflationary deficit, or the Conservative Party will vote against his budget. It doesn't make any sense to continue to tax people working hard. The country is no longer working for people who are working hard. It makes sense to make a change. We must, to do this, we must reduce taxes so that it pays to work and so that Canadians can once again buy homes, affordable food, and other needs, things that we took for granted before Justin Trudeau came into office. Conservatives will be defending taxpayers and Canadians who work hard, and we will do this in this budget and once I am Prime Minister of Canada. We had a deal. We had a deal. Very simple deal. You work hard, you get a, you get a nice house, you get good food, good living, and a good life. That deal, just like everything else in Trudeau's Canada, is broken. After eight years of Trudeau, our streets are dominated by higher costs, higher crime, and higher chaos. Nine in ten young people believe they'll never be able to afford a home, leaving them absolutely hopeless about their future. They can't start a family, can't have kids, can't build equity, can't save for the future because they can't get out of mom's basement after eight years of Justin Trudeau. It was never like this prior to Trudeau, doubling the cost of mortgages, rent, and down payments for a modest average home. After eight years of Trudeau's inflationist spending, cost of living is rising faster than at any time in 40 years. We have one in five people actually skipping meals because they can't afford the cost of food. This was not the case before Justin Trudeau. And all this hopelessness has driven crime and chaos out of control on the streets right across Canada. Enough. A conservatives stand for a country that works for the people who do the work. We want to bring home common sense again. And that's why I'm announcing today that unless Justin Trudeau cancels his planned tax hikes and inflationary deficit spending that have driven up the cost of living to 40-year highs, we will vote against this budget. We want to bring home a country that works for the people who do the work again in this country. We want to bring home lower prices by getting rid of the inflationary carbon tax and deficits, bring home powerful paychecks with lower taxes that reward hard work, bring homes people can afford by getting the gatekeepers out of the way to speed up and lower the cost of building and co constructing the residences that will put roof overhead for our young people, bring home safe streets by repealing Trudeau's catch and release bail policy, banning hard drugs, putting our addicts in treatment and rehabilitation and making the corrupt big pharma companies who caused the crisis pay the bill. And of course, bring home our freedom. Bring home the freedom of speech, freedom of conscience, and financial freedom that Canadians deserve. It's about bringing home the Canada that we know and love. That's what Conservatives will stand for today and every day. Thank you. Um, there's been some reporting, and of course we don't know the specifics, the lockup is ongoing, that one element in the budget, the increase to the GST, HST, or the ongoing rebate, the increase to that, will be hived out into a separate piece of legislation. Will your party support that piece of legislation to increase that tax credit for people? Well, that's a speculation. We'll have to see what they actually propose. We know is that Trudeau is proposing to increase grocery prices by raising the carbon tax on the farmers that make the food, the truckers that ship the food, which of course will raise the price of the food itself. 
We, we've seen Trudeau promise all of his spending to undo the damage he's done in the past. It hasn't worked. We have 40-year highs in inflation after Trudeau. Food prices are rising faster than at any time in Canadian history. And let's be honest, eight years ago, people could afford to eat. They, could, they didn't have to skip meals to get through the day uh, and pay their bills. Uh, we need those days back. We need to bring home lower prices by getting rid of the inflationary carbon tax and deficits, and that's what Conservatives will stand for. I saw a Sergei Dickbeck officer lost her life last night outside Trois Rivières. Do you have any thoughts of that in both official languages, please? Yes, we extend our condolences to the family. Once again, we're seeing tragedies that unfortunately are becoming more and more frequent in Canada. We should give our respect and love to the police officers who protect us. The Conservative Party would implement policies that would protect the safety of all citizens, especially police officers. And to all police officers who collectively mourn this incredible and unfortunately more common loss. We're seeing these kinds of tragedies happen more and more than ever. Uh, Conservatives will stand beside all of our police. We'll put in place policies that will protect Canadians against this raging uh, crime wave, and uh, most of all, protect our police officers who put it all on the line for us every single day. Anybody else? I'm going to ask another question. I, uh, go ahead. Yeah, just quickly, uh, sir. I'm looking for bullet points from you as we go wait for the budget to come out. What do you want to see in this budget? Do you want lower taxes? What, you know, just, I'm trying to boil it down into in a broadcast usable chunk, if you wouldn't mind. We want to bring home lower prices by getting rid of the inflationary carbon tax and deficits. We want to bring home powerful paychecks by lowering taxes so that we reward hard work. And we want to bring homes people can afford by getting rid of the gatekeepers to speed up permits and build millions of new residences right across the country so our young people can put roof overhead. We want to bring home a candidate that works for the people who do the work. About the, I mean, we've heard that there's going to be incentives for green infrastructure, green investments, to compete with the Inflation Reduction Act in the States. What do you think about using those types of economic incentives to spur more innovation when it comes to reducing carbon emissions? Well, we, we do need to bring down the cost of low and no carbon energy, but this, that starts with getting the government out of the way and off the backs of our workers and industry. Trudeau is really compensating with tax dollars for the damage that he's done to our businesses. It takes up to 25 years to get a mine built in Canada. No wonder the number one ingredient for electric car batteries, lithium, is in abundant supply in Canada, but we didn't mine a single tablespoon of it in 2021. Why? You can't get a mine built. And the one mine that we do have operational is owned by China. So we've got to get the government gatekeepers out of the way, speed up, the approval of mines, factories, and other infrastructure to bring home our paychecks, our jobs, and our clean industries. How do you see defense spending fitting into all of that? I mean, that's one area where there seems to be cross-partisan support for increasing our defense spend, but that, I mean, that's money spent on one thing that could be taken out of some of the measures that you, you know, you've hinted or you say you'd like to see. We have to bring the money out of the back office to the front lines. The dollars should go to the soldiers, sailors, airmen and airwomen, not to more bureau back office bureaucracy or expensive uh, procurement from uh, large corporations. Uh, that is the solution. It's to make get more bang for buck, not just to bloat the back office bureaucracy and call it national defense. Right, Thank you very much. Question. Are you for the new control plans? All right, we were just listening to Conservative Leader...